Right, doing a review. Struggling if I'm honest, because I haven't really got that much positive things to say. Um, we won, thank God we won, but it should never ever have been that difficult. Um, you know, best way to win it, to be 3-1 down and then to win it 4-3, fantastic, obviously. But it's just so frustrating that we put ourselves in that position in the first place. Um, typical West Ham, but like I keep saying, you know, it shouldn't be. Why are we always the same? Um, there wasn't a single player out on that pitch that I was pleased with their performance the first half. You know, we got the goal, but it was a penalty. Then I don't think we had a shot on target. We were just atrocious. Um, normally I'd say that like Rice is good, but he had a poor game. Um, I, I can't single one player out for having a particularly terrible game, but I just think nobody was any good, apart from when Nasri came on and he absolutely changed the game and he shows what quality he is and why he's been playing for, you know, the likes of Arsenal, Man City. Um, he made such a difference. Um, and although Hernandez got the two goals, I think, and he got the man in match, and I'm not going to dispute that because he got them, he took the goals well. But for me, in the short space of time that he was on, I would say Nasri was the man in the match. Um, yeah, class, got the assist, really, he's a talented player. Um, but so I'm really happy, and I don't see me, I'm sounding really negative, I'm really happy that we got the three points, and you know, I came out on a high. But then there's this bit, I'm thinking, why did we put ourselves in that position? And it, it should never have happened, you know. Um, if I was a Huddersfield fan, I'd be feeling absolutely devastated now. You know, it's, it is the sort of thing West Ham would do though. So uh, it's nice to be um, not on the receiving end of that type of result. Uh, so I think we're lucky in a way to come away with the three points. Um, after playing so poorly, but I think that sums up how poor Huddersfield are, really. Uh, so, yeah, there's not much more I can say. Please, we won, but poor performance. Despite coming away with three points, which we obviously need to keep up in the race for seventh race position, I've come away from today and, you know, the way that we played was honestly the worst performance I have seen from us. And that is so fucking frustrating when you go and you give so much potential against Newcastle and you give so much promise that there's just a lot coming from us and that, you know, we're ready to fight, we're ready to prove that we are an okay team. We literally just do the most typical thing we could possibly ever do and that's go to Cardiff and play shit and lose and then come to home against... Huddersfield who obviously bottom of the table and really are going to go out there and fight because obviously they want to get as much points as they can and we played like shit but it's so fucking annoying that we are like that we should not be like that we have got quality in our team to prevent us from being shit to me throughout the game until 65 minutes have passed we were playing like we should not be in the prem that's how i felt personally it was such a shocking performance from everyone everyone just i don't know this is what i mean this is what is frustrating because i cannot put in words how bad we performed because we were just awful fucking awful awful shocking like people that you think wouldn't make faults like fabianski made stupid faults like rice i love rice don't get me wrong but even today he made mistakes diop made mistakes everyone today i just felt like weren't playing for passion weren't playing for the team literally just faffing around like they're playing fucking five side for the banter like ooh, like it's no, it shouldn't be like that. And it's just, like, I literally want to just slap them all in the faces because then I'm sitting there watching us when it's 3-1 because we get a penalty, we score it, yeah, great, 1-0. And then it's like we took that 1-0 and thought, that's it, Huddersfield aren't going to do anything. That's us winning it, done, done, dusted. But it's not. 
because it's like we fail to realise that no game is going to be easy and especially when you're against bottom of the league because they're going to want to come out and fucking go for it and win and Huddersfield literally did that today and they literally put us on our fucking knees and I don't think we deserve the win and I, that's bad considering I should be happy with win but I don't think we deserve it because we didn't play as if we deserved it I had no confidence Anderson was sloppy this whole Anatovic drama, I've wanted him to start for a long time. I've been going on about it on my Twitter that I want Anatovic to start. Why is he not starting? And then the one day that he starts, it's just trash. It just, it's finally just proven to me that he just he's, he needs to go now. It's just too much faffing around from him because once again, he just had the ball and felt as if he can just do everything. And he just didn't do anything. The only time I saw him do anything was when he came off the pitch. That was the fastest time I've seen him move was to get subbed off. And I feel like he is bringing a bad mentality on the team because throughout the whole time he was playing, we were shit. He came off, yeah, we were still shit, but the mentality slowly lifted up. And, I mean... I had no faith when I saw the Hernandez and Nazari woman up because obviously with Hernandez, I've always felt like Anaovic has been better than him and I've never really settled in with Hernandez. So when I saw him warming up, especially when you're 3-1 down, I had no confidence. And then with Nazari, there's times where he's been great, but then again, there's times where he's not been great and you kind of sit there and think, well, are these people just going to come on? And not really do much because we've not really done much throughout the time either. But as soon as Nazri came on, game changer, it was like lifted. He took his time. He was patient. He evaluated what was going on and he made the right passes. And give it to Hernandez because I'm sure a lot of you know already with my tweet. He did what he had to do and he went on and he scored the goals. And he was the lifesaver for us. And... You know, I take it back. And this whole Hernandez and Natovich argument, I'm going to put it now that I've now changed my mind and I would happily like to see Hernandez picked over Natovich. And it's not just because he came on and he saved us from losing three points. It's more of the fact he came on with a good mentality so even though we are getting our asses whooped, to not give up. Whereas Natovich has just got a shit mentality, a stroppy mentality, where he'll throw his hands around and faff about if he can't score a goal or doesn't get a ball. And, you know, it takes, for me, I take give people so many chances and I've just gone on with the Nalvic for such a while now where it's like, no, he's not like this, he's not like this. But then after today, it's just he's like this. And it just makes me think we should have actually got rid of him in January and... We can't faff around anymore and he needs to be gone in the summer as well as a lot of people in our team need to be. And there is no way that Pellegrini should go soft on the team after this. I feel like even though we got three points, Pellegrini needs to tell him that the performance was literally unacceptable and whatever is going on needs to just stop because we can't keep faffing around like children anymore, especially when Everton's coming up. And that's not going to be an easy game.